So when I log into Octobot and I've got a, okay, so I've got the uh, daily trading mode that is activated here. Uh, that's over here. Oh, I did copy the arbitrage one, but I activated the daily trading mode. Um, I was getting too many issues with the arbitrage one. So what I am getting is all of these uh, FTX errors. So it's the FTX exchange. Um, and I get a one minute, a one hour, four hours, a one day. Um, yeah, so I get all of these different um, failed timeframes. Um, yeah, so if I go to trading, okay, so I can see I've got Binance, I've got Bybit, and I've got X FTX. So I've got three different exchanges activated. Um, and then I can see my portfolio, and there's just a couple cents in there. Um, so before when I was on the arbitrage mode, I didn't even get to see my portfolio. Um, yeah, let's go and see if I go into trading, let's choose one of these like Binance and let's see. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So time frames on Binance that gives me one minute, one hour, four hours and a day. Let's go have a look at the others on buy bits. I get one minute, one hour, four hours and a day. And then on FTX, this is the one. Okay, so I do get a bunch of these. So let's change that to the one hour one and then go back and go back to Binance. Let's see if that's also changed. Okay, uh, let's go one hour and let's try Bybit. See if, if this is actually changing or if this is just the view for the June. Yeah, okay, so it is actually changing. Um, so it's just the default. What I did find is if I click on edits charts in studio, uh, nothing actually changes there. Um, so yeah, and I see that has changed back. So as soon as you go out um, of this, then it seems to change back. Um, let's go back in there. Yeah, it's changed back to one minute. Um, yeah, so I see the time frames here are all so this says 1M and it's a capital M, but if I go down to here and I select 1H with a small h, so that'd be one hour, uh, it then changes to a capital over here in the dropdown. Um, so for instance, if I did one day over here, it's uh, capital 1D. Um, yeah, so the the, if I can say, the differentiation between the small M and the large M doesn't actually make a difference on here. Uh, what I can see is I can actually see my, my buys and my sells uh, that were historically. Um, I can have a look here on the chart. Um, so that is something that I always activate. Um, I think it's over here on exchanges. Uh, trading, maybe? Ah, yeah. Okay, so it's profile and then trading. Um, and then I always tick this load trade history, um, so that I can go, if I go home, um, yeah, so I don't know why it's showing me that I made 120 something, something percent. Um, because if I look down here, I don't actually have a, a graph of anything. Um, but trades I made on Binance just on my own. Was it Binance? No. Buy bits, no, FTX. Oh, I need to check the one day. Um, okay, so on FTX, I made trades a while back. Let's see if it includes anything I did on Binance. Yeah, so it, it also includes some of the, the trades I did on Binance. Um, and then buy bits, I think I've done some there as well. Yeah, I did some. So I haven't done any. I haven't done any trades uh, very recently on any of them. Um, these one December. Oh wow, at the fifty k mark. <laughs> okay. Um, 
yeah so that's the only thing that i can't seem to figure out so what i did was i i selected the arbitrage one and then i said duplicate and then that's how i got the second one which is a copy um this is your current profile that's weird um so if i go and i hit yeah that's weird because if i click on strategies now it tells me that this daily trading load so let's change over to this guy say configure um and then activation required oh okay i must go back sorry it's been a while since i was on here oh uh, okay so then i just click on that guy okay cool save and exit um let's give it a give it a bit to just reset um okay here we go let's see what errors i'm getting this time in incompatible accounts uses web sockets okay i'm just gonna ignore that um because instead of using web sockets um it just uses the REST API, which is slower, but it still functions at least. Um, okay, so arbitrage is now active. Let's go to trading. Um, okay. So, oh, so it says that only Binance. Okay. Oh, that's very interesting. So only Binance is the only one. Um, and Binance only has the one minute time frame. Um, so that must have been set by the developers. Um, okay. So this is, I mean, this is very interesting. This means that, uh, Binance is the only exchange that is, uh, currently allowing the arbitrage. So, I mean, that's, that's at least good for us to know because now I can go and disable buy bits and disable FTX and I can just say save and restart later. So yeah, it's, it's shouting at me because my account was created before July, uh, 1st, 2021. So it doesn't like my account. Um, it wants me to make a new one and then re verify it. Um, but yeah, okay. So that's, that's very positive. That means that Binance is working with the arbitrage. Um, so let's go back to exchanges and let's go, sorry, uh, accounts exchanges. Um, okay. So we're going to have to choose a couple more, um, or at least one more. So Binance is going to work and then we need to choose at least one more, um, out of this list. So we know FTX doesn't work. Um, so maybe it's worth looking at, okay, X, uh, Gatio um kucoin maybe uh, coinbase pro i know that they have limited coins um bybit's also here but uh, i don't believe that bybit works um as we can see um yeah so we basically will most probably need to choose one of these guys um yeah because those are fully tested um otherwise you can give like one of the the rest and the rest of the line here aax or something like that a try uh, but obviously we try and go with the fully tested ones um yeah cool i hope that helps please let me know how it goes